Hey Raiders, Sean Quan here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video is going to be a Sacred Shard opening, and it coincides with the two times chances, which is occurring April 24th, 2020. Now let's go ahead and look at these two time chances here. Go to the information module. So it's going to be a 12% chance for a legendary and an 88% chance for an epic. So no matter what, it's going to be an epic and hopefully a legendary. Now I will say I did have more sacred shards or maybe at least one more last week, but I was so tempted I pulled it and I did get a legendary outside of the two times event. It was Tomb Lord, so I'm happy to have that. I want to see if the luck is going to continue. It's just two shards, going to be real quick, but let's go ahead and see what we're able to get here. First one is, oh, it's 100,000 silver. That's an expensive one. First one is Ultimate Gaelic. So this is my second Ultimate Gaelic. That's actually really disappointing, to be honest with you. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. Um, and it's another epic. And this one is Juliana. I'm actually quite pleased with this one. She is a clan boss monster. I don't have her. Actually, really pleased to have her. Just want to check to see her skills here. Uh, places 30% in... Yeah, I'm going to start with the A1. Attacks one enemy two times. Each critical hit fills this champion's turn meter by 10%. All right, so build her up with crit rate. Number two. 2 or A2 places 30% increased crit rate on this champion, then attacks one enemy two times, places a 5% poison debuff on the target for three turns if critical. So yeah, very important to have a critical hit. It's on a five-turn cooldown. We'll ignore 50% of the target's defense when Romero was on the same team, so I think I need that guy. Um, no cooldown, so that's just five-turn cooldown. And then the final, and how many books is that? One, two, three... And the final one's attack one enemy has a 75% chance of placing a hit point burn debuff for three turns. Okay, so that makes sense. And they're both, the A2 and A3 are on five turn cooldown. So there's two turns of poison, two turns of HP, then it resets. And then the ascended version is, removes a random buff from the target and has a chance of placing a hit point burn for, for three turns, 75% chance. But to book that up to 100%, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books there, three books there, three books are 13 total books, and then increases critical rate in the arena by 20%. So yeah, definitely a very good champion to have for the clan boss. That's it for my Sacred Shard, two epics, actually two HP burn epics. Ultimate Gaelic, of course, is known for having an HB, HP burn as well. Juliana being a really good epic for clan boss uh, mid-game, and that's exactly where I'm trending towards. So glad to have her on board. Thanks so much for watching. Click the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, leave some comments regarding who you pulled during this two-time Ancient Shard event. Thanks so much. See you next time.